Hey, what's going on everybody? So a bit of a quick, rather unscripted video regarding some things about Ethan Klein and veganism. So number one, I got something wrong about him in that I thought, you know, with my video that I released last week where he was talking about how he's considering, you know, avoiding meat because he's been increasingly having more and more guilt about buying meat because of what happens to animals for the meat to get to him. I'm out on, I've been trying to avoid eating meat. Oh, really? Mostly because I just starting to feel so bad for animals. Oh, really? Yeah. Murder it's just stuff. Like the, it's Let's so go, sad. dude. It, it's just no, the right. thing is like even stopping though it doesn't matter because people are gonna keep eating them and like they're gonna keep. It's just these mass meat factories. Yeah. It's like animals die. It's like so evil. It is. It is. It's so it's unfathomable. Like we don't think about it. But in China, I was reading they have like a super complex of pork. These uh, and pig, pigs are one of the smartest mammals there is. In regards to that, I was under the impression that you know Ethan was slowly making the connection, and you know he did say some things that we disagreed with, like you know humane slaughter though, and that it's possible to humanely you know murder animals at one fourth or a fraction of their lifespan for a cheeseburger while still being compassionate to them, or it still being moral to do something like that. I talked about things like you know would he consider it ethical to do this to a dog because as most people know who watch h3 ethan loves dogs and yeah one of the things he said in the video is that he's going to be avoiding meat because he has this increased guilt but then just a week later on the podcast they released yesterday on february 12th this happened i want a nacho bel grande with extra fucking beef i love that slop that what happened to the vegetarian kick <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. It's is it really meat though? That shit is like slop. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's you know what I mean. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not really sure like how this works with people who say things like what Ethan said, and then just a week later they can have so much you know lack of empathy for the thing that they just previously had so much empathy for. It's very confusing to me and, you know, to a lot of the vegan fans who follow H3, very disappointing. This also isn't the first time that Ethan has expressed interest in doing something like going vegan, and I've addressed those other times in the past. And at this point, it really does seem hopeless that Ethan will ever fully make the connection. We can all, you know, increasingly get excited each time that Ethan just starts to confess the guilt he's been experiencing for buying things like meat and other animal products in hopes that, you know, maybe he'll go vegan. But at this point, unfortunately, my hope is quite low. The second thing I wanted to talk about today has to do with the whole Vosh drama that's been occurring between the H3 podcast and Vosh. I'm not going to be talking too much about, you know, how Vosh accidentally leaked a folder, a very suspicious image images of what pretty much just looks like CP. After seeing what was exposed, I definitely have some questions for Vosh. But I do want to talk about a post that Ethan made on his story, which I posted about, including in the H3 subreddit, on my Twitter, on my YouTube community post, where it looked like Ethan was maybe making the connection between animal agriculture and animal cruelty. It was a story post, and because I hadn't really seen the post that he was posting after this post and the ones before this post, I wasn't too clear on like what exactly he was trying to convey. And it really just looked like he was sharing somebody sharing the weird sexual stuff that occurs in animal agriculture. So here's a post and it seems like it's from someone who is an H3 fan who is also vegan and it says what I find a little funny about the Vosh horse thing. Oh I should mention that it wasn't just weird you know CP images they found in Vosh's folder that he exposed or whatever. It was also images of horses and just giant horse and it was all very like uncomfortable. Just wanted to say that so you can understand the context of why they're talking about horses in the screenshot. So back to this it says, in the animal agriculture industry, humans vaginally and anally penetrate horses and cows all the time to impregnate them. They straight up arm f these animals while they're tied up so they can't get away. Is the human getting their rocks off while arm f***ing these animals? Probably not, but the kind of person who'd have to sign up for that type of job can't be all that well in the head. So Vosh is over here having his little fantasies where no animals are harmed, yet y'all are probably reading Reddit with a cup of milk coffee in your hand and bacon on your plate. Like straight up though, in the news, some dude in the UK got caught with his pee pee and a cow and he's getting prison time. But them farmers be fist cows on the daily and get a pat on the ass is the ethical difference simply if the human gets pleasure what does it matter at that point point? and then ethan put the you know cotton 4k emojis at the bottom so at first i saw this and i was like oh cool like ethan's sharing this and again i didn't see the posts that were coming after or before the story post where basically ethan was showing all the people that were disagreeing with him on the vosh thing and then this Post here was another example of people disagreeing with him on the Vosh thing. And on the Reddit post that I posted, somebody said, no, no, he's not supporting the whole like vegan thing here. He seems to just be suggesting that this person must support bestiality or is justifying it, implying something like, oh, Vosh has these weird little fantasies that are literally just bestiality in his mind and you're all objecting to it. Yet all of you support the insane sexual stuff that happens in animal agriculture. So how could you be so upset with Vosh when you support something just as bad, if not even worse? The reason I pretty much agreed with the commenter who said that he was just trying to say that this person is justifying bestiality is because 
What started this whole initial disagreement with Vosh and his past takes on CP was that Vosh was trying to say that there's no moral or legal argument for being opposed to the possession of something like CP. Listen very carefully to the exact language that I use. I have yet to hear a convincing moral or legal argument as to why possession of child pornography should be illegal. The argument that I was making, and I've made this argument a bunch of times, and I've addressed this poorly made argument a bunch of times here. Why is the possession of child pornography immoral? People are inconsistent in their moral outrage at commodities which hurt people when they're produced. So people will laugh off cocoa butter or chocolate or, um, you know, or, or cobalt or other, you know, products that we tend to get through a really, really unethical system. And what he really meant when he said this was that people possess things that are also the result of bad things happening to children, like cobalt and things that require or involve child slavery. When Vosh was doing this, I don't think that he was trying to say that CP is morally good because we also support other things that harm children and we don't object to those things. I think he was trying to just kind of make an argument from consistency and say that both things are bad, which I believe he actually explicitly said in a clip trying to address the context of these clips because they were going so viral and people were using them to make it look like he supports CP. <laughs> <laughs> the point that I'm making here is that I think that all of these things are immoral. See, I don't, I, don't, all of the I don't think that that's what you were saying. So that led me to make the connection that Ethan was posting this screenshot of this person trying to just kind of get some sort of consistency out of people objecting to Vosh who also support animal agriculture and Ethan seeing that as some kind of endorsement of bestiality. When I don't think that's what they were doing, I think it was more of just how could you oppose what Vosh is doing, which has no real victims, it's all in his head or whatever, while supporting real animals being sexually exploited for something like milk or cheese or whatever. Hey guys, just chime in because I feel like I could have worded this a little better listening back while editing the video. So just to be clear, I think that, um, you know, Vosh initially was trying to say that both the possession of CP and the possession of something like, I don't know, cobalt from child slavery are bad. And then Ethan and these other clips are taking him to be endorsing CP, when in reality, Vosh is making an argument from consistency. And then I see Ethan posting this person also seemingly making an argument from consistency, but with the whole like cotton 4K thing and the cameras, it looks like he's trying to say that he's endorsing bestiality, when in reality, I think it was similar to Vosh, just an argument from consistency. Could be wrong in my assessment here, but I hope that makes sense. I don't know how else to word this in a way that seems coherent. And this all does really call into question, you know, how could somebody oppose something like bestiality while drinking, you know, milk or animal products that literally entail animals being forcibly or artificially inseminated or so they can produce milk or even other animals to eventually slaughter. And to be clear, that is not justifying bestiality. It's just trying to see if people are consistent in their objection to bestiality while supporting what pretty much looks like bestiality in animal agriculture. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I just wanted to clarify, you know, two of my little assumptions here or mistakes that I made, which was, again, Ethan potentially making the connection wrong about that. I mean, a week later, he's like getting extra beef on his Taco Bell or whatever food they were ordering. And then the second error I made was thinking that Ethan was posting something kind of pro-vegan in that screenshot, when really what I think what was happening was Ethan was sharing this as some sort of evidence that someone here is supporting Vosh's internal bestiality by pointing out that people who object to Vosh also support bestiality in animal agriculture. Could be wrong about that and what Ethan's intentions were, but it seems like that's what he meant based on how he also misconstrued what Vosh was trying to say in his videos, addressing this and trying to point out inconsistency. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Sorry if this video was a bit like unstructured and whatnot. Like I said, there was no script. I just wanted to get this out of the way real quick just to address the mistakes I made. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you support my work and want to get early access to it, you can click the link in the pinned comment and support me on Patreon. And if you don't know, I do have a book going over most, if not all of the anti-vegan arguments you can hear online. If you want to get that as well, that will be linked in the pinned comment. Lastly, there are two links below for vegan protein powder and vegan merch, both of which, if you purchase, will help support the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Dude, fuck off. I don't want anything to do with you. Don't ever speak to me again. You're a fucking piece of shit. Even vegans don't get your weird, stupid, wannabe sense of irony here. Who is your audience? Nobody gets these dumb jokes. Dude, 